Hello guys, in today's video, we are doing a new thing, the kill count, my kill count. I'm basically going to be doing kill counts that I think Dead Meat's never going to do. So the first one is a, is obviously about Colin. Yes, there's a book. Yes, there's a story that might be true, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a new thing, and Colin's my first one I'm going to do. So, <laughs> so yeah, um... So, um, and this is a really good movie. It came out in 2009. So let's start getting to the kills. Am I supposed to? And then, title card. <laughs> and the base, and those is making a doll so they can trap souls inside. Oh, did I just spoil the movie? I don't know. Well, <laughs> nothing really happened until the movie starts. So cool. So Coraline and her family move into the pink palace apartment. And up there's Mr. B. <laughs> so yeah, so he moves up to Mr. So you so the pink palace apartment. Go <laughs> and move. There's new people moving though, and there's actually a good theory on this, but like. Okay, there's just a lot of cool stuff that happens, and I've never done a kill count before, so this is gonna be hard for me. So uh, let's get to the kills. <laughs> so then, Cole line goes outside because he's bored of what everything. <laughs> wow, there's a cat. So yeah. Then she goes in the woods and is getting chased by a cat. And then. What? Then this kid, then this creeper called Whitey <laughs> comes, and and then like and then like and we find out Coraline's parents are both bad parents, and Coraline's walking backwards, cause the dad has a computer job which never spends time with Coraline, and then the and then the mom is like I, she doesn't really do anything, cause Mark, <laughs> but like she's like oh my. She's like, let me eat child. Oh, I will defeat the child. Then this silly situation happens. But YB gives, but YB's grandma gives Coraline a, a dog that looks just like her because she knows the whole story, guys. She knows lore. She knows more lore than you ever will. <laughs> to this house. Coraline's trying to find stuff that, that will amuse her, and it's taken a while to do that. So, and then she finds cockroaches. Man, why is this kill count getting so boring? <laughs> and then her dad tells her to find stuff and, yeah. And that's actually somebody who lived there, so yeah. Um, who's sad because somebody died. Wait, so that, oh, that's a kill, that's a kill. Then he represents, then that guy in the painting represents a dead guy. So, yeah. Then Coraline finds a door that there's nothing. Just kidding, it actually is something important. Um, yeah. They find a key to open it, and on the other side is nothing. Disappointed! Disappointed! Then they have some yucky food, and then they go to sleep with Hole having a wasp because of that whitey kid who gave her that. Um, but yeah. That's what's happening so far. Yeah, that's what's happening so far. I'm actually kind of scared because I've never done one of these. So, like, yeah. Then Coraline goes to sleep. I'm watching you. <laughs> Just kidding. Then Coraline goes to sleep. And then in the morning, what happens? I don't I don't remember. I haven't seen this in, like, a week. <laughs> actually, like, two weeks. But, hey. <laughs> then a mouse is in her room and she follows it so she can go. Somewhere in the universe, someone, someone's got it. Was whoa. <laughs> um. Okay. So she goes to that, and that's what that door is for. And that actually kind of plays with what I said about the grandma oleo. Um, but I'm not gonna say that until um, until like um, you know um, until like. It shows the 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 second death, cause then I can explain it. Hey, 
hey, look, he's happy. Wait, so do we revive him? Or is he even on the kill anymore? <sighs> it's confusing. Then Colon meets. Then Colon meets. Ho. Of a muvel. Which is a greatly written Kelto, if I have to say so myself. And the other mother, Colon, and the other father. And the other father is actually a, a nice father. He's very nice. It's, there's some good complications and there's some like good things. Um, but yeah, he sings whole song. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. And they have dinner together. They have dinner, and then Coraline goes to sleep, and she isn't there. She's at the other world and looks again, and the door's closed. Because only cold line can be there whenever it is. So that must have mean, oh, bell, it's bell, Donald. <laughs> also, still all asleep, except for cold line. And she says, like, you're my other mother and that stuff. You're better. She said that straight to her parents, and her parents are doing nothing. <laughs> He's talking twice on her parents. Imagine. Cold line gets a lot of mail and meets her neighbors, which goes kind of well. So, yeah. Um, then there are nine bats I counted, because there's six on each side. Wait, that's nine. Wait, nine. Yeah, there's nine. Yeah, there's, so there's six. She's done talking to them, and she meets up with Whitey again. And then the sister... Then the sister got stolen, disappeared, she's dead. And f follows the mice again for the shuttle. And there's a garden, but I had to sew the scene. It's just um, beautiful. And then, um, it's Coraline. He made Coraline. Then it's time for dinner. And I'm pretty sure the question, too, about button eyes. Then the other whitey, which is the other whitey with no mouth. And I just figured out Hello. that they might have cut his vo voice or cords out. Yippee. <laughs> so, yeah. He's like that, right? And, and then they go upstairs to go for like a wet thing. The wet circus. Which I'll show. Not all of it, but some of it. There's the circus. Yep. Yeah, then they do that. Then, then after that, they leave and thank Miss the copy the other Mister B. But I'm gonna call him the copy, so don't get mad at me, okay? I mean, don't get mad at me, please. I didn't even go up. Now here's the best part of it. Come on, so don't want to get copyrighted. And that's why I'm trying to make this video fast so I don't get copyrighted by YouTube. So yeah, this scene is pretty cool. Then what about him? The other, the other Mr. B. Then she goes to bed to wake up in the normal world again <laughs> for the for the old time three <laughs> old time. She goes back. And then they go shopping. Yada yada, it's boring. Then after that, what happens? I'll tell you. Cool one goes to the other thing. And then I'm pretty and then she gets hungry. And there's a cat. And then I'm pretty sure they already ask her about the button eyes. Let me see. Nope, not yet. Then probably what this movie is most famous for, the cat who can talk and can do portals. Oh yeah, man. Which is pretty cool. And while he's talking to Coraline, he's telling he's telling Coraline how the how everything is and how bad it is, but you're you're seeing it being perfect. Then there's newborns. The two newborns. Which if they do die, which they don't. And I pinky promise you they don't. Here's the thing. 
If they do die, I'll count them as the two newborns, okay? I don't know who the, what the name is, but I'll just count them as two newborns because, man, I don't want to spell out that long name. Well, I could, but I don't want to because, man, that is long, and I don't even remember those dang names. And then the other father became messed up. And we're 54 minutes in, yippee. <laughs> so then they go around, Coraline figures out what actually is happening. And she's like, oh, well, my parents are bad. Then he kills Ahsoka. Then the mask dies by the talking cat. Decides to go back inside and finally deal with her mother. The other mother. And tries to break through. But that is a big mistake. Why? Because she can't go through the door. Coraline's... Cor the other mother wants Coraline to stay here forever with her so then she can get buttons sold in her eyes. And then, and then another one. The other mother kills a, one of those Coco Beetle. And that's another one on the list. Then, we should talk to your mother. This is a really cool scene. To the count of three. One. And this is when the other mother really got creepy. Because whenever I was a kid, I got nightmares from like the spider over mother whenever we watched it. Well, I'm still a kid, but whenever I was younger. And and then you make out when you learn to be a loving daddy. A loving <laughs> Classic. It's amazing. <laughs> Then, wait, what are these? Yes, they're gonna go on the kill count. Again! So many at this point. And there's three. But I'm only gonna count two, really. Because one of them is the twin sister, then the other two are souls that the other mother took. So, yeah. Um, tell Cool on how to kill the other mother and goes for the eye. Which, ooh, one of the good scenes right now. Ooh. Then, basically, this is why he's deaf. Disobey your mother. <laughs> Then R.I.P. Whitey. Home and her parents aren't there. And she stays home for two days. There's Whitey. You guys so much. You never... And Whitey wants his dog back. Oh. oh, so, um, so, the story of, um, let me do this. Okay. So, um, the other sister, the twin sister, see that... Now, this is when the grandma plays out to be a bad guy, the actual villain, not the other mother. Um, because she knew of, um, of the other mother, because her twin sister got away. So then, so then, why was it supposed to be next? But then, guess what happened? Boom. She didn't let Whitey go in the, the pink house and let it be cold line. So Coraline would die and not her grandson. Cool fact, right? I think it is. I don't know what he does. <laughs> Coraline's telling Whitey all of the stuff that's happening, and Whitey doesn't believe anything. I mean, anything. She's saying. And he thinks he's crazy. And that's the first time he's in the pink house. It's his last time, too. <laughs> Man, this is fun to do. But I hope I do not get copyrighted. I got copyrighted. I'm gonna have to re up. I'm gonna have to re edit it and then re upload it. So then she finds out nobody's there. So then she's home, two days gone. And then she decides to go back to the other house or the other thing, the other world. Whatever it is, you can call on me. <laughs> then um, she gets something that tells her future. And that dog is sick. So 
So then, like, yeah, that dog's gonna die soon. So, at the end of it, I guess I'll count on the kill count if I don't see it. I don't know. Then our parents turned out to be frozen in the meal by the other mother. That's why you don't trust strangers, kid. <laughs> then Coraline born um dolls she has and goes back to the other world to defeat them. Then she challenges the other mother to a game. Well, she has to find all all the eyes. But if she loses before time, before the moon changes, then the other mother gets. Then the other mother have to show his eyes and her eyes. I'm sorry, this is probably bad quality. I'm not as good as dead meat. But okay. So, a clue, yes. So then, next, he goes to the garden to go get his little dad. But if these plant, these plant thingies die, but I'm not counting them because do you see how much they are? I don't have somebody who counts everything in dead meat. Like, like if there's like 50 people, they don't, and they count everything. Ooh, it's about to be the fight. Ooh. Then he died. Time to defeat the newborns. If you can even call it that. <laughs> I'm sorry this video's long. Ooh, there's the other eye. So Coolon has one eye, she needs two others, and she knows what the second one is. So. Then the two newborns come out. And Coldwine knows how to strike fear in their eyes. And s and then, wabam! They're dead. It's the fourth eye, third eye, and wabam! So he has to defeat the copy of Mister B. Then, then Mr. B is dead. This is all three wings. What a puzzle! Then she's got all three eyes and gotta go against the other level now. The final boss level. And the fact, and it was good that she bought Gorman, cause, cause the other mother was actually scared of cats. And she says, she's late. Then this happens. The other mother's hand gets stuck. They defeat her. She's, she's dead. Or is she? She's still alive. They do not, the, the parents don't notice snow on them, so everything they okay. They're about to go to sleep. A okay, but then, bum bum bum, the cat comes out to warn her that the other mother is not dead. The other mother is still alive, but the children are gone. But they need to kill the other mother. So and so they do. There's the hand. <laughs> Then they gotta let the hand go. They believes coal line, and now everybody's dead. Yippee! Then they have a party to celebrate because everything's a okay now. Yippee! They act like nothing happened because nothing ever did. This movie's fake. <laughs> this is just a movie I want to show you. The story of a movie I made. Just kidding. Then we finally get to see the grandma who didn't let the who didn't let Whitey go into the house. Patience. Then the end. So I just finished Cool Line and that's my first kill count. And yes, I am gonna be doing go 
Golden Mas Golden Golden Saint Song and Do and Do Masetti. So my gold my golden Saint Song goes to the two newborns. And this is my favorite kill of a movie, the two newborns. We might have to wait. Uh, don't you think you should have skipped to the part before oh, you play no. the camera? And then this. This is like how unique the death is. Now my dog Mercedes is. This is my dog Mercedes because yes, I am counting deaths from before the movie, but this death, the the boy painting, that's just boring. I want to know how to. How it happened? I don't know what how good it is, and that is just growing. So that is cool, and that and all together those twenty deaths. That makes us a really good pie shot. Shot. I don't know how much it is though, but we have twenty deaths total in this movie, and that was in. And goodbye. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget. Be awesome.